Hey guys, welcome to another video. How are you guys doing? If you're new, hey, do not forget to smash that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I really, really appreciate it. So today I'm going to be filming my October October TBR. I always have to be sure. I always say the wrong month, but October TBR. So yes. Okay, so I had quite a very very nice reading month this year yeah this month last month <laughs> okay I had a very very good reading month and this was also the month that I got my Kindle so you know I got iPad on the Kindle so I read some books on my Kindle and I read some of my physical books too so these are the physical books so the first book I read is this one sometimes I lie by Alice Finney you guys this book was I body read this with my friends, Ori and Kenny. You guys already know them by now because I, I say their names all the time. This one talks about a woman. This is just a description. It talks about a woman named Amber Reynolds. She's in a coma in the hospital and she can hear everything around her but she cannot talk, she cannot react. So we are reading her diary and we are reading how she got into the hospital in the first place. Who is trying to kill her and why. So that's what it's about because I don't know how people explain thrillers without spoiling it but the plot twist was actually very very mad I was actually very shocked but then again I felt like it was a little bit slow in the beginning but but it was not that bad it was not that bad and it was very very like my jaw dropped I was like Jesus like who I suspected was not who was it so yeah another thing I wanted to say is it kind of leaves an open end so you have to just imagine what the end is going to be and some people don't like that especially Kenny she doesn't like that but me I, I kind of like I, I love the way the team put me on my seat it was not very very fast paced but it was very good so I gave it a five stars then the next book I read is this one things we do not tell the people we love by Huma Qureshi guys this is a collection of short stories and if you know me by now I'm not really really a fan of collection of short stories I feel like they always keep me hanging and I don't like that I want you to I want to read the full story. I want to know what happened. I don't know how to explain it, but the first story was very heart wrenching for me because I could personally relate. It talked about a girl that was labeled wrongly in our society, and because of that label, it kind of like affected her and the way she sees herself. And the person she was even in love with was quite. Guys, the stories are actually really good. There, are, there was one particular story inside about a, a girl and her mother. That story really, really annoyed me. So basically, the girl left her mother without any reason. Like, didn't tell her mother why. And I was so pissed off with that particular story. I was like, why would you do that to your mother that has been there for you for years? Like, she has, she brought you up. She basically was there. And your father was never, like, was never present. But you decide to... Like, I don't like that. I really, really honestly don't like that. That particular story pissed me the hell out. But the Jam Collector story, I really, really liked it too. Because the story was quite nice. And it's very, very short, so you can easily go through it. I went through it in a day. I gave this a poster. It's very good. You guys, you need to read it. A collection of sad stories, basically. Oh my god, the next book I read is this one. <laughs> the Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole. <laughs> Guys, I cried. I'm not going to lie, I cried. When I posted this on my Instagram, everyone was saying that uh, this book is going to make me cry. I was like, nah, I don't think I'm going to cry. Like, is it that sad? But guys, I cried in different, different areas. Like, this is how I tapped it. This is how I tapped it. I cried. I really cried. So this talks about the love story of two kids right from their young age to their adulthood and some things happening at the back it just says it talks about her poppy and rune poppy and rune you guys rune came from norway down to i think it's usa i don't remember the country but so they are neighbors and rune has this temper issues but but poppy is the only like they fell in love something happened with grandma so her grandma gave her this jar filled with thousand hearts that she should write and like Keep the memory of her kisses she had the kisses she has with that particular special somebody so rune was like okay i'm going to give you those kisses because i cannot let you go but they were young so that's the thing i'm like these people are too young to be knowing all these things like what do you know at the age of eight having your first kiss at the age of age uh at the age of age at the age of eight you know but rune had to leave and when he left the communication with uh, poppy was so it just this thing breaks my heart it broke my heart it broke my heart so much you guys now that i'm even thinking about it i honestly i would say the ending was happy and sad 
So I don't know. <laughs> their love everything it just felt so poetic and all but it's not really realistic so it's not realistic kind of love but i gave it a 4.5 stars i gave it 4.5 stars because i wasn't really really 100 percent with the old age thing you know oh i don't know no i don't like it but, but aside that every other thing was so good yes i am suspicious and i'm fairly cute <laughs> This book, apart from the pretty cover, this book was just sweet vibes all through. It was just sweet vibes all through. I really enjoyed it. I gave it a four star. It talks about Bradley and Celine. Bradley has OCD, so it's quite funny because some of these things that he does in his mind, I also do them too, but I don't think I have OCD. <laughs> He is very cute. He is the sunshine and Celine is the grumpy one in this relationship. So Celine is trying to get a scholarship. Bradley is trying to please his father and some other things. They were best friends when they were younger but as they grew, they started changing up. Something flew past me. I was so scared. So as they started to grow, they started changing their friends and so they kind of grew apart but Celine hated Bradley because she felt like Bradley left her because she has strong opinions that are not regular opinions that every other person has. So she was angry with Brad. Their banter is very, very good. <laughs> Their banter is very, very good. So they had to come back together. Um, they went for this camping stuff for the scholarship, and it, there's so much more in it. There's a particular topic it talks about you doing something you want to do, not because of somebody else or not because you're trying to, you know allows let someone else notice you no it in this book it just like i, I actually love that even though it was light at end, but there was still a very very strong message in it i really really enjoyed it i gave it a four stars i could not resist myself of course i had to get back into the folk of air series and i read the wicked king by holy black yeah guys i i cannot tell you what's happening here because it was that means i'm spoiling the series because this is the book two but this ended on a cliffhanger and I'm so freaking because I'm like what the hell is happening? I wanted to go into the next book ASAP ASAP but I don't know I, I, I got distracted by the next book and I decided to read that one first but seriously this was intense this was intense it was a lot of things were happening but then again I don't think it was as intense as the book one but the cliffhanger this angered hey angered the cliffhanger this I ended on was mm -mm, I, I need to get into the book three ASAP so I gave it a five stars of course it's very easy to go through fly through yeah the XX by Erin Sterling this is the perfect witch book it's nothing crazy no magic like crazy magic happening but it's very very light-hearted it's about this lady her name is Vivi I forgot her name, but I remember his name because his name is the name that I love, Rhys. Okay, his name is Rhys. So the he's a wizard, she's a witch, and they fell in love. But when they were teenagers, during one kind of celebration in their city, so they fell in love, and then he is betrothed to another witch. So he thought she understands, but she's a new like she never grew up practicing witchery. Is that right? I don't know. <laughs> she never grew up practicing witchery, so she doesn't know all those traditions and stuff. So she was heartbroken and exed him by accident. So that's why it says never mix vodka and witchcraft. So he left town. So when he really stepped back into town, the ex that she placed on him started walking, and that was now where the problem started because he needed to do something that. Get the fuck out of here! He needed to do something that was important for the old village but the ex made so many other things happen like the fact that plastic skulls you know it's during the halloween period so plastic skulls came to life there was some, there was a ghost and then there was an eating secret that later got revealed yeah it's it's really cool it's really cool very light at the edge yeah i gave this uh, i think i gave the four stars that was when my kindle now decided to pop in <laughs> Then on my Kindle, I read this book that everybody has been talking about, The House Made by Frida McFadden. Guys, this book had my ha my jaw dropping like this. Like the fact that I even read it so quick. Wait, I don't have space on my memory card. So it talks about this girl. She was in prison for something that happened, which was actually talked about in the book. And she needs to get a place to actually work. She needs a house to live. So one job opportunity just came up for her and she had to take it. And inside this place, there's a particular attic room that that was where she's going to stay. So you can only lock it from the inside, from the outside. So if you are locked in, you cannot come out. The window is not working. So she starts to 
gets scared and paranoid the first day she tried to open it and she she was able to go out so she realized okay she was just being paranoid so something something's happened with the husband and the woman the husband woman is very very destructive like she that is the place anyhow she complains anyhow so there are some secrets that actually get leaked i don't want to talk about the book too much because i was spoiling but at first you will think that this is what is happening but honestly guys i suspected who had a problem and i got it right i got it right but the ending still shook me because i was so surprised like yeah, some things happened in that house and oh god, but I really really like the end and I want to get into the book too soon The next book I read is Flawless by Elsie Silva. Oh my god, you guys <laughs> This one was just a very light-hearted read. It talks about I forgot their name. I always I'm very bad with names oh it's summer it talks about summer and red summer is the daughter to the agency that is managing red Rhett is a cowboy, he rides bull for a living and he's a celebrity so she is put in charge of him to manage him because he kind of has some issues they share fall in love and when they fall in love you start to see other things that are in the book like the fact that she has a little problem he helped her discover that she doesn't need to be pleasing people all the time and then there was some other like the psycho ex boy a psycho ex boyfriend and the fact that he was not really like he's she's untouched she's not he's oh god that bull riding stuff is a very 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 risky business so apparently it talks about why he's into it in the first place and the family oh my god it's family i love their banter it's just so oh my god this book look at like look at it has conversations like conversations i was just posting all on my um story on instagram i was just posting and i was laughing because the conversations are just so funny like they talk they the way they talk honestly i like it i love it so much i really enjoyed it it was a body read with my friend promise and she was like she gave it a five stars she was like it's a, a very easy five stars for her but for me it was a 4.5 because i felt like it did not eat that spot that i wanted like there's something and it was a little bit kind of i don't know not not predictable but it was yeah it was just a very very fun read book to my kindle i read my roommate is a vampire oh my god you guys oh my god you guys oh this book is a vampire see i was laughing right from the first page like i was already laughing i was like what you are reading and you're like are you crazy that was how i was okay that was how i was i was laughing from the beginning to the end there were so many so he's a vampire but he slept for 100 years by mistake because of his friend because of his friend Reginald so the book talks to you how he's trying to manage in the modern life so he needs a roommate that will teach him you know the things that happen in the 21st century so he put up an ad which was also funny because this house was supposed to be going for like 2000 for the rent but it was going for 200 so it was suspicious and all and he doesn't know how to use <laughs> he doesn't know how to use gadgets so she has to teach him how to <laughs> like even the fact that she had to <laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you and I'm even laughing. <laughs> she had to threaten the vampire community with TikTok. Seven, seven followers on TikTok. <laughs> like, imagine telling them that I'm going to post this on TikTok. If you if you don't blah, 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 I'm going to make sure that all, everybody knows that vampires are real, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so it's not the regular vampire that, you know, sucks blood and kills people. Although some of them did or do, but... It was very very interesting like the fact that he actually steals blood and he sucks he he, he, he eats only blood he cannot take any other thing but <laughs> guys it's just fun, little 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 things that are funny and the spice in the book god the spice in the book i don't know but i felt something i felt something i really liked it it was it was not uh, even because it was like vampire and human and then there was also you know like some parts but it's just the fact that he pays attention all these little little details he pays attention to this oh gosh god you guys that book was nice i really like it. i'm going to give, tell everybody to read that book everybody must read that book i gave it five stars of course i can't run my mouth like this i'm not give it a five stars it was a five stars for me then i was still hooked on my kindle and i went to start the mind fox series by st abby oh god so i read the first three books so in november i'm going to be reading the, the last two books which i'm already like as you can see i'm already painted all red so well it just talked about this lady lana mayers and logan logan is a detective lana is killing she's a serial killer but she's killing for a particular reason and she's stronger than she looks 
but they fall in love and he is in charge of her case so imagine you are tracking a serial killer but she's your girlfriend yeah that was what that's what happened but that book guys that book is amazing i gave all the three books five stars i really really enjoyed it like the way it kept me on my edge it was easy to fly through I, there was no unnecessary things and there were a lot of quotes in it i really liked it so it just talks about you you, you start to figure out why she's killing these people and what's happened in the past and stuff like that who she really is each book ends on a freaking cliffhanger so i was body reading the book one with my friends kenny and Ore but they were slow sorry kenny sorry all right but they were slow with it and i was so 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 no, no i was <laughs> i was not patient so i read the next one immediately then they were pissed off with me that we're supposed to read your books together that you're flying blah 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 but you know obviously i could not i could not control myself i'm so sorry guys i could not control myself but yeah it's a five star book for me you guys yeah then the last book i read in october is this one i'm glad my mom died by Jeanette McCordy guys this book is a memoir it talks about a story this if you don't know who this girl is she's Sam from iCarly and then you get to know her story from when she was young what happened everything that happened in her life with her, her relationship with her mom in the entertainment industry everything you guys the book made me sad I was feeling so sad I felt like I, I, I honestly I don't know because I felt like this all happened is her fault but at the same time I feel like there was nothing she could have done you know she was young so there was nothing she could have done but i love the ending and i hope that she's in a better place now obviously she's in a better place but i hope she doesn't relapse because there are so many things it talks about anorexia it talks about bulimia it talks about manipulation it talks about so many things and oh guys you can see from the way that i have yeah this book was it was everything i didn't cry but i was so i was so sad reading it i was like this girl's going through a lot she went through a lot and that's it you guys that's the end of my wrap up what do you think tell me the books you've read oh my god i like talking i think i talk too much but i'm sorry <laughs> i'm so sorry i'll see you guys in november when i'm talking about yeah now I'm talking about my new books and stuff like that i have a haul coming up too so i'll see you guys soon bye deuces